Hey guys, how you doing today? I have a long video regarding this uh, thing called the US dollar reboot. Um, you're probably thinking, what the hell is that? You know, and I, I was like, wait, what is that? That's uh, I never heard of that before. So uh, I came across a like an infomercial type video uh, by Jim Rickards, who is the uh, author of the Currency Wars and a couple of other books that recently came out. And he's got more stuff and more material, so I think he's promoting whatever it is that he knows. And he's got some type of investment tip that uh, is poised to do really well, like over a thousand percent or so, if you subscribe to his service or something like that. So it is an infomercial, so we have to kind of take that into account. But the content regarding um the us dollar reboot was interesting but the the video was like one hour long so i'm gonna try and condense all of that information into a shorter video but i i just wanted to um uh give you guys an update on the silver eagle 50 ounce giveaway that uh, i mentioned like several months ago on my channel and i was hoping that one of us on youtube who signed up for it uh, might have been the winner so I, I actually found the page from their site um, let me show you here you get to win these 50 ounces of silver eagles and here are the winners it says giveaway winners Mike W Bath in Michigan June 30th of 2017 so it was like three months ago somebody won um, that was right like a month after I mentioned the silver eagle giveaway so I'll leave a link to the winner's page. I'm not sure if that uh, person was a YouTuber, but if it was, hopefully that would have been cool that one of us uh, uh, won 50 ounces of Silver Eagles. Now, for those of you who um, did not um, know about this or didn't enter and would like to enter, uh, I'll leave a link uh, in the description as well so that you can enter in and possibly win 50 ounces of Silver Eagles. Because it seems like they give away uh, these 50 ounces here and there. Um, and they have the, the winner names here listed on their site. Okay. And so getting back to the US dollar reboot. You have a picture of Donald Trump on the left. And a gold Donald Trump coin. So that gives you a clue as to what the US dollar reboot is going to be about. Now this is all uh, coming from Jim Rickards. Right. So it's all his perspective and his thinking as to what's coming ahead. And there's one other uh, piece of the puzzle regarding the U.S. dollar reboot, which I didn't include in the picture here. But I'll just switch over uh, to that um, the other one right now. I want to show you the U.S. debt clock. Uh, not too long ago, just recently, we surpassed the 20 trillion dollar mark for federal national debt here. Uh, you know it is getting out of control and out of hand so the dollar reboot or the reset dollar reboot is about managing the debt and Trump is going to uh, look into creating a radical monetary policy going forward in the next several months so I, I just want to uh, reiterate that this is uh, a view coming from uh, James Rickards and not me I'm just the reporter here uh, just conveying the information in a condensed, summarized manner. Um, and also, I want to um, point out that, again, this was a video, uh, like an info, info uh, commercial video that he has promoting some of his uh, products and services. So keep that in mind, okay? So the story goes like this. Jim Records, um, he's an insider guy within the financial system. And he said he uh, he said he met with seven other insiders near I think was it the Trump Trump Plaza or um, somewhere nearby back in the day uh, I don't know how long it was but um, he met with those guys and we're talking about the outlook for the U.S. dollar over the next six months so sometime from August or September till you know six months from now so it's gonna be like January February right. So um, they think that Donald Trump is planning a radical reboot of the U.S. dollar and Jim Rickard thinks he knows when it's going to happen. And that day is by New Year's Day or even earlier. 
But then he kind of puts in like a little asterisk saying that now he doesn't know for sure. It could happen a little bit before or after. But, you know, it all unfolds probably around uh, New Year's Day. And he says that there's one particular investment that he's putting his money, a million dollars worth of his money, into this thing. I don't know what it is. He didn't reveal it in the video um, because obviously you have to buy his service to know what it is. Um, that this is going to go up like, what, uh, 1,000 or 1,100 percent. And he goes on to say that when America had the U.S. dollar backed by gold, the country had far less public and private debt compared to, I think it's like $80 trillion today. And the Fed, you know, they've been printing uh, money into the market. And uh, I think Donald Trump also said that that's just the wrong move. And here is a uh, probably an old tweet from Donald Trump a while back saying, the Fed continues to flood the market with U.S. dollars. Wrong move. The Fed lowered interest rates and printed $4 trillion new dollars out of thin air since 2008. So that's about a quarter of the size of the U.S. economy. And the consequence of printing money is debt. As you saw, we have over $20 trillion in federal debt now. So the United States is really greatly in debt. And uh, Jim Rickards also said that we have a private sector debt that's sixty trillion dollars. So if you add those together, you have a total of eighty trillion dollars in debt. So this this big ass debt, you know, let's just call it a big ass debt, um, could trigger a really really bad global collapse, like many of us uh, have been um, been warned about. You know, with Mike Maloney and a couple of other guys, many other guys were saying we're going to have and you know a serious problem uh, going forward so this could be the debt is basically the trigger right but we don't want such a major collapse so this is what you know the um the dollar reboot the u.s dollar reboot could have a, a more of a soft landing okay so i didn't know that donald trump was a pro gold kind of guy and he does mention that he is in favor of the gold standard. So let me show you a little clip uh, him actually saying that. Bringing back the gold standard would be very hard to do, but boy, would it be wonderful. We'd have a standard on which to base our money. Now, Ronald Reagan during the 80s also wanted to bring uh, strength to the US dollar by backing it with gold. And there's a little clip of his video, so I'm gonna show you that now. Ronald Reagan believes government causes inflation, not business, not labor. In the 1960s, the federal government decided to stop tying the value of the dollar to gold. This permitted them to print as much money as they wanted to spend, and that's why we've had this crippling inflation. We'll never regain price stability until we restore some form of gold backing to the dollar. As president, my first priority will be to make the dollar the most trusted currency in the world. But unfortunately, Ronald Reagan's efforts to back the dollar back to gold did not work because of politics. But uh, Rick, uh, James Rickards thinks that Trump could actually get this accomplished. And he shows a graph here of the uh, time in which we went off the gold standard here. And you see all the amount of cre uh, credit and debt going way high where the GDP just steadily grows. And, you know, in the past, the, the debt and the, the growth of the economy are pretty much in sync. So if we don't take care of this big debt, or should I call it big ass debt, um, he believes that foreign governments and investors will start uh, exiting the dollar where the full faith and credit of the U.S. government will evaporate. People will lose trust in the financial system and we're going to have a big problem. So um, uh, Rickards thinks that uh, Trump could actually get this done. Now, many of you know Atmex is pretty much the king of online dealers with precious metals. Ooh, let, let's go back to that one here. Darth Vader with a red lightning light, lightsaber. Um, looks like they have something new here. What is it? A two ounce 
Why are they charging 156? No, thank you. <laughs> too much expense. Way too much. But anyway, um, Atmax um, is the leading online dealer. Uh, they had probably the biggest one. And uh, at one point in time, they leased the 50th uh, floor of the uh, building in 40 Wall Street from Donald Trump back in the day. I don't know, it might have been several years ago. So let me show you an article here. It says, Trump accepts gold instead of dollars from tenant. And this tenant happens to be uh, Atmex, okay? Uh, it says, usually Trump gets a certified check for a security deposit when leasing space in one of his office towers. But we'll have a first on Fox exclusive interview with Trump today as he accepts gold bullion worth about $200,000 from Michael Haynes, CEO of Precious Metals dealer Atmex. Okay. So this is something that happened a while back. You know, let me see if there's a date here. No, let's see. Oh, back in 2011. All right. So, um, this is why I think, um, at that time when, when Atmex came in, they started to have a presence in New York. So if you, lived in new york and want to buy from atmex uh you were getting charged tax if you bought less than a thousand dollars now here's a statement by trump saying it's a sad day when a large property owner starts accepting gold instead of the dollar the economy is bad and obama's not protecting the dollar at all if i do this other people are going to start doing it and maybe we'll see some uh changes and i also have a video clip of um uh, this incident. Uh, so let me show you that. Donald Trump says gold is better than cold, hard cash. Donald Trump is renting out the 50th floor of 40 Wall Street for 10 years to Apmex, American Precious Metals Exchange, and accepting three 32 ounce gold bars as a security deposit. Well, sadly, we all know what's happening to the dollar. The dollar is going down, and it's not a pretty picture, and it's not being sustained by proper policy and proper thinking. This was an opportunity, and maybe an opportunity to show people what's happening with the dollar so that we can do something about it. Now, in order to fix the debt and the U.S. dollar, uh, Jim Rickers thinks that there's going to be a bold new monetary policy by the Trump administration which will be a total reboot of the U.S. dollar and reset the U.S. economy. According to his sources, Trump will invite the leaders of the world to his Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida, from China, Japan, Germany, Italy, France, and the U.K., and even the IMF to set the gold price at $10,000 an ounce by January 1st of 2018. This is according to James Rickards which is not surprising because he's been saying $10,000 gold for the longest time. Now, Mike Maloney has been saying the same thing as well about a new world monetary system uh, within the end of this decade, right? So uh, he has a new video series out, Top 10 Reasons I Buy Gold and Silver. He went over all the 10 reasons and then he, he's just splitting up the uh, each reason into a shorter video. This one here talks about a new world monetary system is coming, which is something similar to what Jim Rickards is saying, where all the leaders of the world will get together. So I will leave a link of this uh, number eight, reason number eight in the description box below so you guys can watch it. Uh, and then if all goes well at the meeting and everybody agrees to a new standard uh, of $10,000 an ounce, Jim Rickards says that the Fed will announce the price of gold will be $10,000. So this will be interesting if that could ever happen. You, you're probably thinking, no freaking way is that ever going to happen, right? Now, head of the Federal Reserve is Janet Yellen, and she's probably going to be saying, gold at $10,000 an ounce? Yeah, right. There's no way that's going to happen. But Jim Rickard says that we can back the U.S. dollar to gold because we have all this gold at Fort Knox and basically backs up his claim by saying that the United States is still the number one hold holder of gold reserves at 8,133.5 tons. And he quotes Donald Trump saying, the golden rule of negotiation, he who has the gold makes the rules. So the other countries, you got Germany, Italy, France, China, Russia, Switzerland, Japan, Netherlands, India, India, all these countries, well, 
a, lo a lot of these countries are mentioned uh, from Jim Rickards saying that these guys are going to all get together uh, with Donald Trump to set gold at $10,000. Now, let's just say that this monetary plan goes into effect. Uh, Jim Rickards saying that U.S. banks and gold dealers will conduct open market operations in gold and the Fed will buy gold at $10,000 or less. And that would pretty much end the currency war because it will bring stability to currencies. So if you own gold, and I'm sure many of you have been stacking gold and silver for a while, uh, that means you're going to be doing well. And some of you might, might own gold mining shares or even silver mining shares. Chances are you're going to do well. And, you know, we've been stacking gold and silver for the longest time since around that some of you go back to even before the crisis around 2008. So when this um, new monetary system goes into effect, well, I should say if, uh, then uh, all of the stacking efforts that you've been putting in thus far is going to most likely pay off. The future is a gold-backed dollar worth $10,000 an ounce, okay? So the big question is, why would the Fed adopt gold, right? And we know that uh, the Fed and the banking system benefits from the debt-based system and not from some kind of gold-backed uh, monetary system. So uh, on top of that, Janet Yellen you know, hates Trump and hates gold, right? So how is this going to happen? He believes this could be done because Trump is in a position to have total control over the Fed. Uh, out of the seven total seats on the Board of Governors and the Federal Reserve, right now there's three of them that are vacant and the president has the power to appoint each governor. So Trump gets to assign those people that he wants to go into the Fed. So here's the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve website. Uh, right now you see Board of Members 1, 2, 3, 4, Janet Yellen, Stanley Fisher, Jerome H. Powell, and Lyle Brainard. Uh, I think the Jerome H. Powell, he's a Republican already, so he's kind of um, like a pro-Trump guy, I think, uh, according to James Rickards. And the biggest one of them all is Janet Yellen here. Um, Donald Trump could appoint a new Federal Reserve chair. And right now it's rumored to be this guy. His name is, uh, I think, Gary Cohn. Um, so Janet, Janet Yellen's time is going to run out unless, for whatever reason, he reassigns her, you know, let her continue. But highly unlikely, I think. Um, basically, uh, she's going to be done. And then the vice chair soon after her term. So if that happens, Trump will have control of the Fed through these Republican Board of Governors. Um, and Republicans already have the White House majority, the House, Senate, and the Supreme Court. So Trump will have less resistance to uh, implementing his new monetary policy. Now, it's rumored that the next candidate is going to be a gold bug. And Gary Cohn, he's just another gold, Goldman Sachs Wall Street guy. That would pretty much continue Janet Yellen's uh, same policies. So if Donald Trump wants to implement a uh, new monetary policy uh, with a gold back U.S. dollar, uh, to me, I think it's it's Ron Paul, right? Uh, I don't know anybody else who's a pro uh, pro gold and sound money. And he's been talking about this for a long time. Um, if uh, this were to really happen, I think Ron Paul is the best guy for the job. Although I, I don't know if he would take it or not, but um, we'll see. You know, this is just my opinion. Jim Rickards didn't say or allude to uh, Ron Paul being the candidate, but I think that's the guy uh, that's likely to be the, the Fed chair if um, all of this um, gold uh, monetary policy is supposed to happen, right? So that's basically the entire uh, thing about uh, the, the dollar reboot. And we could pretty much come to the conclusion that if gold does go to $10,000, silver is going to go up, right? And many of us have been stacking silver for a long time. So, um, yeah, you know, for those of you who are watching this for like the first time, you don't know nothing about gold or silver. Yeah, pick up some gold, pick up some silver. You can get 10 ounces of silver from JM Bullion with the starter pack. Uh, it's pretty much, um, you know, uh, spot price and that's it. Uh, if you, especially if you use a check, 
uh, they'll send it to you free shipping uh, one time you know you can only do this one time you could just buy uh, 10 ounces of silver you get a sun sunshine minting uh, rounds uh, I think they give you this little pouch and a and a tube uh, so you get 10 ounces of silver rounds with this you can also get a silver gold bowl silver bar it's a 10 ounce bar here for $170 discounted right now uh, uh, when you're watching this it might be higher or lower depending on when you're watching this so um, uh, this is also a check price um, this is a Canadian based company but I think they have a presence in the United States so uh, you don't have to worry about you know shipping from another country or anything like that I think they have a warehouse somewhere in America right so you can get this one for um, pretty much at spot price or you can pick up uh, government uh, minted uh, silver eagle coins uh, especially for those of you in the United States um, you know you could get pick up maple leaves and some of the other ones too but uh, if you live in the United States uh, silver eagle rolls are very healthy because if you buy like one of these obviously it's gonna be uh, quite some more than um, uh, spot price so for just for example here spot price is around seventeen dollars right now um, and this is 384.80 this is the lowest price for a roll of silver eagles so let's just say you bought 384.8 right divide by 20 and you get 19.24 so silver is 17 dollars so you're spending about 224 over spot but keep in mind that when you sell these back to the dealers they usually give you at least at this price range they give you like a dollar in premium so you'll be losing about a buck 24 however however if you do the math again 384.8 when you buy this roll you can buy it with a credit card unlike the other uh, sites that I showed showed you it was for a check price okay so if you were to buy this with a 2% cashback credit card um, just multiply by 98% and you get 2% off so it's 3 377 right then divide by 20 and it comes to 1885 and then minus $17 so it's a buck 85 86 over spot so you're only losing about the 85 86 cents when you sell it back but um when you sell these silver eagles back the dealers are always willing to accept your silver eagles but when you have a whole bunch of generic bars sometimes they're like whoa we have plenty of those and we don't really need it right now and they may not give you the price you want uh, but ultimately when you sell you're going to want to be selling when silver is at you know 30 40 50 bucks or even higher right so just giving you a little tutorial on silver eagle rolls and um, for maple leaves let's take a look at maple leaves silver maple leaf roll you know this they're 25 coins in in a roll here so 479 25 if you do the math uh, 479 25 oops times 0.98 right and then divide by 25 so 1878 so uh, you know close I think the silver eagle roll is you know I, I, I like that a little better because um, they're more popular I think so that yeah, well it, you get to save just a tiny bit more with silver eagles uh, maybe these three here I'm looking at the listings here these two one two three are decent price and then you have the higher prices here I don't know why they're so much higher uh, 489 yeah so these are the, the best prices up here so what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description box for all of these things that I'm showing you so that you know if you're watching this you know months down the line uh, right now it's September 23rd 
So, um, you know, we'll see how the spot price moves. So Jim Rickers is predicting a $10,000 an ounce of gold. Right now it's $1,300. So if you do the math, you do 10,000 divided by 1,300 and you get 7.69. So around 7.7 .7 times more. So that's a 770% increase in gold. Now, whether that devalues the dollar or not, I don't know, but I guess it does. But um, let's say we do 7.69 times uh, 17 for silver, right? So you get, oops, $130, right? Also, let's just say we'll make it 130 so, um, you know, if you buy silver at $17 now, the likelihood would go to 130 but I think it could go higher than this. We'll see. It could maybe go to 200 or 500 or even a, even 1000 because everybody's going to want metals. Now, one of the things about uh, gold and silver going up in price, this is something we as silver and gold stackers have experienced in the past during the financial crisis of 2008 there was a shortage for silver eagles in particular i think uh, people had to wait online or you know since it was like 50 bucks people really wanted silver and uh you couldn't get it and you know it wasn't bad to the point where all the silver was gone and you can still get silver at the time but you had to pay a hefty premium too now if this goes Accordingly to how Jim Rickards predicts, I suspect that it's going to be way, way dif more difficult to buy gold and silver, like real gold and silver and that you could hold in your hands. So, um, yeah, you you're probably do well with like the gold mining shares and stuff like that, too. Um, but, you know, if you want the physical stuff, you, you're probably not going to be able to get it easily if this starts to happen, even if silver goes to like. 30 bucks from here you'll you'll probably start to see uh, um, dealers wanting to buy back your silver because they want to be able to flip it right so keep that in mind because um, it has happened in the past before and if you're new to my channel uh, hit the subscribe button to receive alerts I tend to find good deals from you know numerous dealers out there or if there's some kind of like numismatic coin that has the potential to increase right away uh, like some of these um, US Mint stuff and other stuff as well so um, hit the subscribe button and then you see this little bell here if you um, if you um, click that you'll get notifications into your email inbox right away as soon as uh, I upload the video so uh, with that said uh, if you guys have any comments or questions or anything you want to mentioned down below please do so and I'll try and get back to you guys this is a very very long video I usually don't do long videos like this but I figured I would do this one because it looked quite interesting for many of us here in the YouTube uh, silver stacking community all right thanks for watching guys